Hi, Jeff Peterson from Syntax. I'd like to talk to you today about some of the core technologies in RME's new USB and FireWire devices. Let's take a look at the Fireface UFX. The Fireface UFX was released in mid-2010, and since then it's had several firmware updates that have added some really exciting new features to the product. The most important one in my mind is the direct recording system for the Fireface UFX. This system allows you to take any USB 2.0 drive or flash memory, plug it into the front panel, and make direct recordings with no computer required. Now, of course, it also works in conjunction with your standard DAW, so it works great as a backup system for location recording. You can take your uh, MacBook Pro or Windows laptop out into the field, record directly on, into your DAW software with the Fireface, and at the same time, record all your input channels discreetly to the backup drive. This is going to come in really handy if you ever have any kind of glitch or dropout on the DAW. Uh, or, for instance, the files are corrupted, or someone un unplugs your USB or FireWire cable, the Fireface is still going to continue on recording those tracks with no, no loss at all. All you need here is updated firmware. You'll need the USB drive or uh, thumb drive. It'll be formatted to FAT32 file system. And then the uh, Fireface can then record up to 30 input channels plus 30 output channels simultaneously. That means not only can you record the inputs, but also a mix uh, that you've created with the Total Mix FX software. Once you're through with the recording, you can then import those files directly into your DAW software for editing, or you can download RME's splitter tool to separate those tracks out into their individual mono or stereo tracks and import into any other DAW. Additionally, RME has released new firmware updates that enable the Advanced Remote Control System the ARC. The Advanced Remote Control is a wired controller with seven programmable keys plus a jog dial that controls your main level for the unit. Uh, there's also a recall button on here that will bring you back to a calibrated listening level, whatever you set in Total Mix preferences. Uh, those seven programmable keys can do a whole raft of functions, uh, including activate talkback with a push to talkback feature, uh, loading different mixer snapshots, muting effects system, uh, mutes and solos. It's pretty much whatever you can imagine. They've built in that flexibility. The Fireface UFX, UCX, and Babyface all have built-in effects as well. Now these are non-destructive effects designed for monitoring. Although they can be recorded, the EQ and Dynamics can be put into the record path and the reverb can be recorded with a loopback feature. They're mainly intended for your headphone mixes. All the same, RME is putting a lot of resources into making these the best that they can possibly be in real-time effects. So we've had some upgrades that have improved the sound of the reverb and EQ. Uh, we have a built-in three-band parametric EQ on every channel, dynamics on every channel, and then a bus for reverb and delay. RME is legendary for their driver maintenance for products. Typically, a product has a 10-year lifespan. And uh, throughout that lifespan, we're pushing out new firmware and drivers with bug fixes and performance enhancements and support for new operating systems. Another great new feature that's recently been added to the Fireface is support for OSC. So if you've ever used a Mackie controller, you know how useful this can be to control your mixer. But with RME, we've gone, taken that a step further with support for open sound control. So RME has built in OSC hooks into Total Mix now, and this is going to allow you to use an iPad app such as Lemur or Touch OSC, load the RME template, and now you can control your Total Mix screen from your iPad. It's giving you uh, control over every parameter, your effects subsystem, level controls, uh, everything that you can do from the screen can now be done through the network with the iPad.